Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Armatic Le Leopard Print KF94. So as you can see from the title of the listing, they say to be KF94, which is very deceiving since th these are not KF94s. On the packaging, they say that they are a KF94 version, and they also state to follow the GB2626-2019 standard, which is for K95s. These are also made in China, and as you guys know, all KF94s are only made in Korea. So overall, this is a very deceiving listing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at these masks. So they do come in a leopard print, like I mentioned, and they come individually wrapped. So they do have a very soft outer layer material. They are very thin. These are the ear loops. Okay, not the best material. We had an issue like this on another mask that we recently tested that was a trifold style. The glue is coming undone on the bottom part of the mask and it easily just comes off. I am going to open up a new one and try it on and see how it fits on my face. These do, to, do seem to be on the larger side. These are pretty big. So let's take a look at the nose wire. Okay, it's a pretty standard nose wire, not too flimsy, but it's also not that strong. So let's go ahead and try this on so, the, so this one is also coming undone a little bit on the bottom part of the mask but we're just going to put it on and see how it fits okay um so these have a very strong smell just that alone i wouldn't really be able to wear this mask because it smells really strong um i'm gonna try and fix the nose wire nose wire is not really able to hold its shape and I am still getting a lot of leakage in the bottom of the mask. And although they are thin, they aren't that breathable. I am also getting a lot of collapse. So I'm not getting like a perfect fit on these, but it just could be because these are a bigger mask. And they have a horrible smell. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're gonna be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 98.56% with a pressure drop of 25 millimeters of water. Second sample had a filtration percentage of 98.70 and a pressure drop of 22.6 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 98.68 and had a pressure drop of 21.2 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw from the TSI results, they did test well in terms of filtration efficiency, but the breathability was very high. If we refer to these masks as K95, since they do say on their packaging that they follow the GB2626-2019 standard, they wouldn't meet that requirements as the pressure drop is higher than 22 millimeters of water, but they also claim to be K94s. So one of the requirements for, for KF94s is for them to be made in Korea, which 
these aren't. So overall, like I said, this is a very deceiving product and we wouldn't be able to recommend this product due to the poor quality, the misleading information, and also because they don't pass the K95 requirements or the KF95 requirements. So I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next or if you would like to send us, send us a mask or respirator, please make sure to check the description box down below. We're going to be having our address as well as our website, which is acumen.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.